Hi, Year 2. We're carrying on with our Lowry composition. So at this stage, you've done your entire outline pencil drawing, your background wash with watercolour, and your pencil detail over the top. The final step is to add all the figures in the picture. These are the people. Now, what you're going to try and create for me, so children in school will be getting one of these, but if you're working on this at home, you want to get a strip of paper roughly 30 centimetres long, roughly. Uh, you're going to have a sliding slope. So the tallest end is going to be about ooh, five and a half centimetres, okay? And then the smallest end of your scale is going to be about one and a half centimetres, okay? So you end up with something that looks like this. The idea is we're going to be drawing figures of different sizes, gradually getting smaller and smaller. You've got to have your figure touching both the top and the bottom of the sliding scale, okay? That way your figures will go from large to small. So I'm going to start off with just drawing a large figure. Now, in this picture that we've been recreating, everybody in the picture is looking down the road. They're all looking down the road um, at a, a van at the end of the road. So you don't actually see anybody's features, even the one or two characters that are facing forward. The artist Lowry didn't draw uh, features on people. He kept them very, very simple, like matchstick men, okay? So the figures that I'm drawing, just really straightforward, simple figures of people who are just looking down the road. So here's one figure here. They've got a hat on and they're looking in that direction so we can't see their face. Right, now I'm gonna go all the way to my other end of my scale. I'm going to draw a person. This is someone who's gonna be at the very end of the road. So they're going to have a much, much smaller uh, head. I'm going to just do their body. There's an arm. I'll have them in a, a skirt and there's some legs. Okay. So just simple uh, figure drawings. I'm going to carry these on in varying sizes and then I'm going to colour them in. And once they're completely finished and coloured in, I'm going to cut them out. And I'll be showing you that in a separate video. So your steps today when you do this activity is to make your sliding scale from five and a half centimetres to one and a half centimetres and fill it up with different figures. I'll do, let's do a middle size figure for you so you can get the idea. So let's put one more person here for now. You want to aim for, oh, let's say at least 10 figures, but probably more than that. In the Lowry painting that we are recreating, I'm going to guess there's at least, oh, 25 people. I'm not saying do 25 figures, but there's certainly quite a lot in the original painting that we've been working on. So here's another person. And I think it's a cold day because everyone's wearing jackets and coats in the painting. So I'm going to put everyone, this is going to be a little bobble hat that somebody's wearing here. All right, and then let's say there's somebody near the shop window near the front. So I'm going to recreate, I'm going to recreate someone here. Now, because they're looking in the shop window, you can just see the back. So this is the back of their head and their arms by their side, and they're wearing a long coat, okay. Okay, all right then, so hopefully you get the idea. You do different figures of different sizes that match up with this scale. All right then, best of luck. I'm looking forward to seeing these finished and coloured in. That's the next step, finished and coloured in. All right, well done. Bye-bye.